You may be suffering from paralysis, serious back pain, knee, hip, neck, or shoulder pain. You may have a desk job sitting all day at the office and start struggling with posture-related back pain. You may be someone who bends at work all the time or you want to continue your active lifestyle and maintain your wellness. You may be a sport fanatic love and live an active lifestyle. We know you do not want your body to hold you back. You may be a senior that needs better mobility for your joints. Whatever your circumstances, Genuine Kunga Therapy is here to get the best out of you. We specialize in the ancient Rwandan Kunga Physiotherapy practice and are sure to guarantee you results in less than six sessions. Let us give you back your smile and quality lifestyle. Get in touch now and join thousands of happy, satisfied patients. Genuine Kunga Therapy, your wellness, our concern. That's why you're trying to uh, have a limited time and she uh, wants. Please <laughs> Nakuma <laughs> Let's say, man, I'm going to go to the village. 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 i Kulikinayasa <laughs> Manapunza <laughs> I don't want icyantangaje Mogabo, Shikamie, the Chitamashi, because the Chan Mongui, Ajako Bahagaja, Africa, the Raja Tegura, or Gorgos, the Tegurugo, Jatagaravitanga, Ahano Sarahuaka, Jimanam is after Kosika 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 Kosika
Yari yari sikuwa kwa mchumba kama sinde, shwa nizu mwuru senga akatu lake na mwuchu zikuwa na kubati zikuwa Ya mba kuipisi na mwa, ya mba mwabatishi Zoma na kupisi nini mwurugo Alipisi ni sanzwe Yero dani Yero to Mani mga chile Ndese na hatu leku mja chile Kwa jia chile mwuto mwuritu kwe ya jia kutishi ya kola, jinshi ya rasho mwye Aruki maa na uri ijira kahunda kumunu Au jangu utane wa njiri ke kubure Hugo ya kuisu iza Hugo ni mafuto mwema mjari Nda sabari ni ilitri mjiri mbo imge Na umi kujani ikanyira Ngesi humri ziniti mayanyo Kukimaa nila bazi Izi nishu mwifuza Matofashe já vou dizer já lhe o que é Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming for so many for his hearing. I knew Tom from 2006 to 2008 when I used to work in Kenya. I used to visit Rwanda. And he was a person with a good heart. I knew him like that always. When I came to Rwanda, leaving Rwanda from 2009, we continued to be good friends. But in 20, 2011, we decided to get married. You know, as a Japanese woman, to marry an African man, I had to really think what I was going to do. But because of his good heart, I knew that we are going to make a good family, happy family, with peace. So despite the some people's you know, discouragement, I said, I know what I'm choosing. And it is not the nationality or color that you need to do, it's heart of the person. Since we married, he proved to be a person with a perfect heart. He was a good father. When I was in, I was transferred from Rwanda to the city in 2017-2018. I could trust him for all raising children. He was raising children at home. But he was very responsive, checking always the safety of the kids. He was a very good cousin. You may know him as younger, and then for me, I know him as tall. He never, you know, boost of his popularity or his star at home. He was very simple, very simple, humble person, and also very patient. He may get annoyed, he takes time. He responds to me very calm manner. He was a very peaceful person, he loved peace. So I <coughs> I really, really loved him a lot. My children loved him, loved him a lot. Not only that, he also said to me, as a person who is from, coming from Asia, you may expect me as a Buddhist. My family was a Buddhist, my parents were Buddhist, because that's the only thing we knew. I was more open to other religion, so I used to go to church. But Tom is the one who has saved me, who taught me the value of Christianity, the life of Christianity. And I am very blessed because of him. In 2013, when I was pregnant with Agnes, I had a complication. The doctor told me that you're going to have the complication, you have to do the operation. 
Talk to me. Let us go to Uganda as a church where you can they heal the people. So he took me there. The brother, the pastor, paid for me. And then after that, I think uh, after two, three months, nothing has changed, and I went to Japan for the delivery. But like two weeks before I delivered, something has changed. I did a normal delivery for others. We went back to church, we sang them, and that really opened my mind that there's a miracle which is happening. But not because of the miracle, but because sometimes there's a invisible power that we neglect in our life. I was converted to Christian. Tom took us to the different churches. We continued to pray. And I think 2019, when he got the disease, he got the cancer. He, we decided to bring him to the city because of the access to medical medical services in South Africa. Despite the disease, he lived, he continued to pray, he attended the churches, he became a prayer partner in the city. He had a network with the pastors. And then at one time, Julia came to assist us to help him during that time. But in 20, after six, maybe seven months, she was completely healed. The results of the biopsy says he doesn't have a cancer, he has to stop the chemotherapy because it will damage him if you continue. So, at that time he was healed. He came back to the Rwanda and then in 2020, COVID has come. So, we had a separation for one year. He was in Rwanda, I was in the city of In 2021, he came back, but he was a reactive. But he continued to pray, he continued to go to the other churches where he could preach, and his message was always like, no matter what, Trust in God. No matter what, trust in God. Such a message always he was preaching in the small churches, run by Uganda pastor. When we get more weaker and weaker, still in March, when he, he did the operation, Immediately after the operation, he came back and then he went to church. He was still preaching the gospel. All of these things and when you are dealing with the disease, how many people can really continue to be strong in spirits? He has, I have never seen his tears. I have never had him talking negative things, like I'm going to die. He was always positive. He was talking about healing, restorations, God is with us. He continued like that. But in May, when we went back to the hospital, we had a bad news from doctor. And I knew that time, his time with us is limited. And that's why, as a wife who respects, who admires, who loves, the only thing that I could do was to take a leap, be with him to what he wants to do. Be with him until the last moment to show that his family loved him. 
So that's what I did. He wanted to go to Johannesburg, so we did that. And we are so blessed to know Pastor John, his family, the other prayer, prayer group, even the other Basoto pastor who used to come and pray for us. And the last one month of his life, he was so blessed because of those environment that he was, the prayers, the people praying for him, and he, he also continued to pray. We were in the hospital always because he doesn't like being out. Through his life, and we have tried a lot, and we know we will still cry a lot. But what he taught us, what he left us, the reason why we are still here is because we have the purpose of life. We need to think about the legacy of Tom, and we need to put it in our heart so that he will be alive in our heart. One thing he told me, in fact, he told me so many things, and especially the Christian values, the, the guiding in, 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 in our life. But one thing he told me is, Eriko, I can pray for you. I can pray for Thompson, others. I can pray for my family. But it is only you who decide, who can determine whether you want to eternal peace, eternal life or not. It means that we may go to church, we may read the Bible, which is good, but our behavior, our action, our attitude and our heart has to be righteous so that we go to him. Go to him. He says, I can pray, but it is only you who can do so. And you should stand up, pray, and then be on the God's work. As I am standing here, we will respect that. Also, as Tom is already, already Tom, Tom is not here, but for us to respect him, honor his, his life, whatever his wish, his dream, his visions, we should continue. Not because Tom has gone, we are going to quit everything. No. We will take it from here, whatever we can do, we will do. I know Tom used to support the people who are very vulnerable, very poor, during the COVID time. He used to tell me that he's sending the giving the food to the neighbors, etc. I said, God bless you, please continue. I'm also a humanitarian worker, so I understand that I fully support that. Because Tom is no longer here, we are not going to stop. Our neighbors and communities he live, we are going to support. Because that way we honor him. We hold honor his 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 belief and his vision. To spread the gospel, to heal the people, to pray for them. It's a challenge. So we are here. The pain is here, but we are also determined to move. Move on, strongly, 
sus alas, tome mi mujer, durmamos las ratas y brutas. Thank you very much. La voz de Jan. Ah, uh, José, por favor, foto malo como se andará. A campanha de favor, não há que passa fã. Ah, agora tu dê, você é uma magamba e você é a José. Aro que tinha em cima o Uriam Damo, e aí me deu já a Buda. Aro como garoue, como faixa, como se vamos ver a Tisa. O desejo monsi, a Mahamia de Cristo, a Mahamia e o co a gente a curtir com o tomo e o sítio. Uh, Pastor Frank, umanya nu wa usikaye, noko mani jenga nyongo satano, ili usaye kutuwa trimo tuba handa. Thank you, Pastor. Teka, nanje mbi hanga nishe, bako meze. No, ne bako mele shedi jamburi ima.
be suffering from paralysis, serious back pain, knee, hip, neck, or shoulder pain. You may have a desk job sitting all day at the office and start struggling with posture-related back pain. You may be someone who bends at work all the time or you want to continue your active lifestyle and maintain your wellness. You may be a sport fanatic love and live an active lifestyle. We know you do not want your body to hold you back. You may be a senior that needs better mobility for your joints. Whatever your circumstances, Genuine Kunga Therapy is here to get the best out of you. We specialize in the ancient Rwandan Kunga Physiotherapy practice and are sure to guarantee you results in less than six sessions. Let us give you back your smile and quality lifestyle. Get in touch now and join thousands of happy, satisfied patients. Genuine Kunga Therapy, your wellness, our concern.